In this video, I'm gonna show you the absolute quickest and easiest way to create shorts for platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. And for it, I'm gonna use NVIDIA AI, the sponsor of today's video. NVIDIA is a platform that allows you to enter a single prompt and generate an entire video from it. I'm not talking about generative videos where you might get four to 16 second video. I'm talking one minute videos all the way up to 20 minute videos. And they just added a brand new multilingual feature, which allows you to generate the same video in multiple languages and even use your own voice while doing it. It's pretty cool. So to use NVIDIA, go to nvidio.io and click sign up and create an account with either your Google or Apple account or enter your email. And once you're inside, you're gonna wanna make sure you have access to the beta feature. So in order to do that, come up to your little icon in the top right, click on settings and flip this little switch on that enables beta features. And now we'll have access to the most up-to-date features inside of the NVIDIA platform. Now, one thing that's really cool about NVIDIA is that you can make it generate videos in either an AI generated voice or your own voice. If I come over to the top little hamburger menu in the top left, click on voices, you can see I've already trained my voice into the NVIDIA platform. But if you haven't done this already, you simply click on add voice, upload a recording of at least 30 seconds of you talking, make sure you follow the instructions. They have some specific prompts that you need to use to make sure that they know it's really your voice that you're training into it and you'll be all ready to go. Now that we've got our settings dialed in and our voice set up, we can click on create new to make a video. And you're gonna wanna make sure that the model is set on NVIDIA AI version 2.0. This one's gonna allow you to have more languages, better voices, and longer prompts. Now, when it comes time to actually generate the video, you have a couple options. You can either enter a prompt up here, or you can use one of these existing workflows. Let's go ahead and do a YouTube shorts. And if I click on this, you'll see it gives me a sort of Mad Lib style fill in the blanks. And I find this makes it so much simpler to create the perfect video because you don't need to think about all of the details that you put in the prompts. And video works the best if you give it a really detailed prompt of what you're looking for. But if you use one of their existing workflows here, it does a lot of that thinking for you. We're going to create a fast paced YouTube short about, and I'm gonna put the prompt, the strangest, looking animals on the planet. For the background music, let's make the background music silly and playful. We're gonna start off by generating this in English, but you can see all of the other language options. There are a ton of them. Language should be English, and let's put with a lot of silly humor. And then for our settings, use my voice, and then it automatically set it to Matt's voice, the one that I trained in. For the narrator, we have options for other speakers, but let's just leave it on the narrator. Then we have a drop down to add any subtitle. Don't add subtitle, add bold subtitles with popping effect, add clean subtitles with no outlines, add clean subtitles with outlines, and all sorts of options. But I'm gonna go ahead and add bold subtitles with a popping effect. We can also add a watermark if we want. I'm gonna add at Mr. Eflow, cause that's my Twitter handle. We have an option to use iStock if needed. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that checked so it uses the best video and images possible for the video. And then we have the option for the music. Use YouTube audio library only, use the best audio available, or use Storyblocks audio only. I'm gonna go ahead and use YouTube audio library only just to make sure it's gonna generate music. It's not gonna have any copyright issues when I publish to YouTube. I'll click continue and you'll see that it actually wrote the prompt for me. Create a fast paced YouTube short about the strangest looking animals on the planet. Make the background music silly and playful. Language should be English with a lot of silly humor. And then some additional settings. Use my voice, Matt's voice for the narrator. Add bold subtitles with popping effect. And let's just go ahead and generate the video. We get an additional prompt here to add some additional context. It asks who the audience is, animal lovers, curiosity seekers, comedy fans. Let's go curiosity seekers. Look and feel, playful, colorful, animated. We're gonna go playful and then platform. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as YouTube shorts, but I imagine if they make it well for YouTube shorts, I see no reason why I can't also post it to TikTok and Instagram. So I'll go ahead and click continue. And now we wait for it to generate, usually just a couple minutes. Now let's go ahead and take a peek at the 58 second video that it just generated. What do you get? when mother nature drinks too much coffee. Some of the weirdest animals you've ever seen. First up, meet the axolotl, also known as the Mexican walking fish. It's not actually a fish, but a salamander that never grows up. Imagine being a teenager forever through in the water. Next, 
feast your eyes on the eye eye of Madagascar with big buggy eyes and fingers creepier than your aunt's old dolls. This critter looks like it came straight out of a Halloween special. And don't forget the star nose mole with a nose like a 22 fingered hand. It's the star of the underground world, literally. Then there's the blob fish named the world's ugliest animal. It looks like a grumpy old man with a body made of jelly. Cheer up, blob fish. And last but not least, the pink fairy armadillo. Smaller than a squirrel, it wears what looks like its own pink suit of armor. Party outfit? Check. Nature has a wild sense of humor, doesn't it? Stay curious and keep exploring. Who knows what strange creature you'll find next. Now the video was pretty good, but it did have some issues. And there's two ways to fix issues inside of NVIDIA to really dial in the video that you're trying to get. One of them is to use natural language commands, and the other is to manually edit inside of the edit page here. Let's go ahead and do a quick edit on the script here because a little bit of the audio was sort of pausing weirdly. We can see that inside of the script, it actually added the pause command. And if I don't want it to pause, I could just delete that. If I do want the pauses there, add the word pause in parentheses. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove them to keep the pace going with the video. I'll then go ahead and apply the changes. So our pauses have been removed. It shaved off about two seconds. It went from 58 seconds down to 56 seconds now that it doesn't have the pauses. But some of the video didn't really match up to what it was talking about. Now I can click on any screenshot from the video and it will actually jump to that portion in the script so we can see what it was talking about during that part of the video. At one point it was talking about the star-nosed mole, but the image had nothing to do with that. So let's do a quick search for star-nosed mole and we can replace it with a more relevant video clip. I'll go ahead and swap this out here. You can see it's gonna replace the original one. I'm not actually sure what's going on in this video. So I'll swap that one with something a little more relevant. I have it set to replace two of my video clips. Let's go ahead and apply those changes. And now my video is updated. We can also pick new music by clicking on the edit music tab inside of the edit area and pick any new song. But I think the song it chose is just fine. But now let's experiment with some natural language changes. Let's say I want the exact same video, but this time I want it in Spanish. I could simply type, please change the language and subtitles to Spanish and click generate. And now we should have a video that's in Spanish and in my voice. ¿Qué obtienes cuando la madre naturaleza bebe demasiado café? Algunos de los animales más raros. Was passiert, wenn Mutter Natur zu viel Kaffee trinkt? Ein paar der seltsamsten Tiere, die ihr je gesehen habt. Qu'est-ce qu'on obtient quand mère nature boit trop de café? des animaux parmi les plus étranges que vous ayez jamais vus. Kya hota hai jab kudrat ma zyada coffee pi leti hai? Kuch sabse ajeeb janwar jo aapne kabhi nahi dekhe honge. Sabse pehle milie exolotl se. Let's add a call to action. Add a call to action at the end to subscribe for more silly videos. The CTA should be in Spanish also. Let's generate that. So it made the video longer. Let's jump towards the end here. Encontrarás después. No olvides suscribirte para más videos divertidos y curiosos. Dale like y Activa la campanita. And we have a in Spanish call to action at the end. Now again, in video does not need to just be used for things like YouTube shorts, reels, and TikToks. It can make normal landscape style videos as well as the vertical videos we were just making. You can even generate full 20 minute videos using this platform. In video also has an iOS app that works just like the website version that we just used. So if you wanna create videos like this straight from your mobile phone, you can do that also. You can actually use NVIDIA for free right now. However, if you're really serious about creating videos online, I recommend upgrading to one of their paid plans so that you can remove the watermark, get access to all the high quality assets, and it gets you access to that voice cloning feature. And if you use the link in the description, along with my coupon code MW50, your first month you'll get twice the amount of credits to generate videos. If you consider the costs of stock video subscriptions, stock image subscriptions, stock music subscriptions, and all the various subscriptions and tools you would need to use in order to generate a video like NVIDIA does in just a few clicks, well, the cost would be quite a bit more than the cost of NVIDIA. So again, the link is in the description. You get a nice bonus, double the credits for the first month by using that link. And thank you so much to NVIDIA for sponsoring this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. 
and uh, go have some fun making your own shorts or long form videos or whatever kind of videos you want to make within video. It is pretty fun to play with. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.